Hi, in this tutorial we're going to install Bower and use it to create a Polymer application in our next tutorial. So the first thing I need to do to install Bower is go to nodejs.org and install Node. So to install Node, you just download this Node uh, package and once it's downloaded just run the package manager or run the package and you should have node installed you can check by saying node-v so now that node is installed we need to install bower so the website for bower is bower.io now if you go to your terminal and type npm which is known man package manager dash um, npm install dash g power it should install power for you now power is also a package manager but it's a package manager for your uh, front end uh, packages so uh, once bower is installed, what you can do is check that bower is installed by typing bower v. So there you go, bower is installed. Now we need to start a project. Now notice that I have a GitHub repo running here. So I'm going to put the project inside that repo. I'm going to I'm calling it my project. So here I can just type bower in it to start a new project. It's going to ask for the name version description so I can say demo for power and polymer now the main file I can call it index.html it's going to ask me if I need any more modules so in this case I'm going to select none the keywords in our case is polymer and web components uh, the email and license and home page and whether we should set the installed components as dependencies so we say yes and uh, add commonly ignored files to get ignored list so say yes mark this package as private so say yes so now it's generated this power.json file I look at bar.json that's what it looks like so now that we have bar.json if I say ls uh, it's going to show me the bar.json file but the next thing we need to do is let's create a uh, let's use power to install polymer so the way to do that is to say power install polymer dash dash save this dash dash save is so that it saves that dependency in the power.json file so it installed it now if I look at power.json uh, it's saved it as a dependency so I can pull it down later if I want to it also creates this bar components folder uh, right here so in power components uh, you'll see that it has two folders one is for polymer and the other is platform both are required and uh, the next thing uh, we can do is for instance if we're uh, distributing or deploying this application and we need to install the dependencies well if our dependencies are gone for instance if I don't have my dependencies here anymore and I still need to have pull the dependencies down. I can say bower install, and it's going to pull down those dependencies again. So let's see, I have power components here, and those dependencies are there. Now, in our case, uh, what we need to do is essentially create a polymer application. So we're going to start that in the next tutorial, but. Uh, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.